What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the consequences of my own actions. We are defending against the garrison of Vienna against the, with an army that is very much not set up to do that. But let's get going. We've got some opportunities here. The enemy's got some artillery. They've got some um, infantry. We've only got one howitzer though. That's kind of the problem. We've got one howitzer plus a good chunk of units that are depleted. It's not necessarily the best set of outcomes. Should really have kept them together to bolster the attack on Hungary, but you know, I was getting... I got very sure of myself during... <laughs> now we've managed to uh, bust open the Western Front against Austria. Okay, let's deploy right at the back. It's a very weak units here bring my none of these guys can form square either not necessarily a huge problem because we're not facing off against large amounts of cavalry but it still might be my general though my bug general So at the very least, their artillery will have to abandon their guns. Militia, armed citizenry. Yeah, that's right. Abandon your artillery. Scamper towards our lines where you will die. First thing we can engage, their mortar crews abandoning their guns. Load and fire. Uh oh. That cavalry not to worry about. There it is. So these gunners are going to be mown down by my general. Please get good hits. Misfire! Blitz my general through here. Potentially make them a little bit vulnerable. Too late. Commit my marines against the enemy dragoons. There's lots of these guys, or oh, do I run them? I don't need to try tag the Swiss Jaeger as well. Stop them building stakes. The bulk of the enemy is coming in on the right flank. Switch to... My general is... Oh, the Dragoons are wiping out... Oh, they're doing their usual shooty tricks. <laughs> they're just shooting my guys. Fair enough. That, the loss of that cavalry unit is quite significant. Especially because the General's gone. Yeah, they're shattered. That's why they ain't coming back. Can 
Then you guys need to start. Are they going to stop just outside of musket fire? They are. Now it's just need to focus on the light dragoons. I think we might have to focus on that unit of marines still. We might be able to chase off these guys. Okay, let's drop one unit here. Support the attack against the Dragoons and so on here. You need to get out onto the flank. They're shattered, which is good. Let's advance onto the flank of the Hessian Jaeger. Pull back. Okay, you men just reload and pull far into the skirmishers. Kill the 11th. I surrounded. We should break. Right, they stuck around. Excellent. There you go the skirmishers. Start to roll up the left flank. Uh -oh. Well, I think this is it. Losing that cavalry unit early on was was not great. Yeah, there we go. They just. Native African infantry just does, just has worse stats than regular line. A lot less. The morale's a lot worse. Yeah. But for regular line infantry, they might have more of a chance. Withdraw! Withdraw, gunners! Yeah, that was semi to be expected if i can just at least recover some of my units out of that engagement yeah not bad although they're likely to get attacked now by these guys no apparently not either way the balkans area is looking in trouble they're getting not as much trouble as bavaria is because one unit's going to rush along to the east and attack Prague. Uh, you want to try and sally? I mean, this army's a lot better. Yeah, sure. At least if we can take Hungary, that's kind of a... That's a foothold, and then we'll just keep on churning infantry out of that area. Then that keeps uh, Vienna under threat. Right, come on, let's get in. This one, I mean, this one, similar sort of principle. Deploy right at the back, so their gunners have to. Their mortar, their mortar crewmen have to abandon their mortars. Although this army also is a fully African native unit army, which is not, not so great. Deploy the back. 
force them to come to us. Okay, the mortars can't actually shoot at us. So let our uh, hood artillery just keep attacking their crews. Then my howitzers just attack their infantry. Eventually they'll have to abandon their guns as well. Yeah, there they go. Here they come. The saber shining brightly up over the fence. These brave, brave fellows. Let's retarget the guns to engage some of these units behind them. They're marching valiantly to their doom. Don't worry, they're on the high ground. They're encouraged. What could go wrong? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, fellas. Second unit decided, you know what? Yeah, I, I agree. Killed one last gunner. Sure to fold this flank in. I don't want to fold it too much because then the mortar might start shooting. As they, these guys are heroic, stoically rather, marching towards our lines. Except for the ones on the right, they have been smacked. So the first regiment of militia. Flank. So many dead. The 88th Regiment of Foot, African Native Infantry. Commit my cursier. No, I'm not. Commit my colonial light cavalry. That's a nice square you've got there. It'd be a shame if somebody shot at it with chemical weapons. Firm. Okay, they're engaging my light cavalry now. They've rotated their guns. Who are we shooting at? Them. Them right there. Quick climb ahead. You've killed one guy by the shell landing exactly on top of him. Skirmishes up here as well. Let's kill their general. Okay, reload. Third. <laughs> Just, don't know why this model does this. Okay, 
kill the crew. First Regiment of Militia. Don't worry, they're steady. They're not going to give up without a fight. Make sure we do kill their general, it'll be just easier that way. It's that man in the fancy coat. It's the last one left. Got him. Nice. Very nice indeed. 139 men remaining. Probably want to try to take it. Um, right, back to chopping the recording. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we are back. So, there is a Austrian army right at the gates of Paris. And they think ready they'll be and able to order. stop us. Sir, the, the fools. First things first. Yes, sir. Collect the Rebels. gun crews. Forward. Collect one unit of infantry. And do we engage this army and force them to commit these into a reserve? Actually, first of all, let's make sure we don't do anything too crazy. Because you, again, I, I lost a bunch of the... Um, Make ready. Siege works. Underway. Lost a bunch of the orders that these guys were going... What these guys were going to do. You were going to go join Mr. Rafferty. Anybody short one gun, not you... Good. I think actually I think the gun was okay. Let's recruit a general unit just to show that it is not just a unit that's lost its reinforcement instructions. It is actually trying to go somewhere. Okay, let's not go. Okay, right. Don't even don't even go to India yet. Stuff that we need to sort here. Right. Your humble sir. Let's attack Orléans. First engagement. Attack Sigismund Kramer. Then we'll move on towards Paris afterwards. I mean, both these Austrian armies, these are the armies that are down in the south. There's currently now only one Austrian army south, so we've got that northern Italy area. Is that it is just secure now? They are not going to be pushing in from the south. Finally. Okay, they've got plenty of artillery, so my foot artillery will be able to engage targets as they like. Got way too many howitzers. This army is not balanced in the way I prefer. Group of my skirmishes on one flank. Give them the heavy cavalry plus. Regiment of Cavalry plus like well, light cavalry sharpshooters on the left, general in the centre. So we do have to push up. Because they've got advanced artillery shot. Killed the general enemy general within the first salvo, which is pretty good. I didn't Yeah, I've definitely got a gun, a howitzer, and a f and a, um, a howitzer and a foot artillery too much. Gunners engage just different targets. Foot artillery bombard the bejesus out of them. Just destroy their artillery. Kill the bunch from due to quick line. Artillery, engage. Cavalry, push up. Fire. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. That's effectively over. Kill the horse artillery, then kill the line infantry. My cavalry, my heavy cavalry will deal with theirs. Good. Okay, right. Now let's kill some of this infantry. At the very least, let's kill some of these artillery crews. Okay, there we go. Let's just see if we can wipe out this unit. Well, this army entirely, I think. Let's see if we can do that. Keep on killing. Yeah, they escaped, but again, they did they spread out. Okay. Same with these guys, they spread out quite nicely, so it's probably going to be a bit tricky. Well, they were down to six, that's pretty good. One left. Okay, that's a pretty good, pretty good win. They luckily for them. Well, luckily for me, rather, they had plenty of artillery, so they just are done for. And I'll push in and attack Sigismund Schindler with the leftovers of the army that was behind them. Quite a good chunk of cavalry. The infantry corps is useless. Let's kill them. And again, this is kind of, kind of why I was keen to maintain the push and not get too distracted about securing Paris because I felt that it was kind of it was better to keep pushing eastward while we could rather than get too too bogged down where we were right curious about where they're their army is going to deploy. Let's keep my heavy horse artillery limbered up. We're going to deploy it fairly conventionally while they work out what they're going to do. I'm not quite sure what their objective is going to be. They, they are deploying. Oops, I'd have left. Deployed all my howitzers up front of my infantry line. I big smart. Big redeployment of my artillery. Keep my sharpshooters up front just to skirmish with their sharpshooters. All my howitzers engage their howitzers. Heavy horse artillery can unlimber. Engage also. Heavy horse artillery begin shrapnel shotting that militia. So these guys are trying to buy time for my infantry to get into position. Sharpshooters in provincial camp against Curacier and horse artillery. That's a very much a favourable outcome for me. Let's get my a bunch of my where are my bunch of my my infantry guards down.
So we're under fire, which is bad for both of us, really. Now they're shattered. Let's see if we can shatter the sharpshooters. There we go. How are we? Sound the recall! Good hit on the artillery. And we hit the Hungarian fusiliers. You guys hit the garrison guards. Put artillery. Trap and shot that horse grenadier guard unit. You can see them. Shredded. My light infantry will have something to say about this as well. There we go. Broken. Let's turn their flank. Yo, something like that. Good job they got various defensive lines, otherwise you might be in trouble. Let's get two houses to start work on attacking these dug-in troops. Artillery, switch to round shot, engage that general's bodyguard. Returning to deal with our Blank attack. Start knocking some holes in them. try and ease these guys out of their defensive position. General's bodyguard's under fire. I mean, my, my artillery can just fire whatever they see fit. Shooters, you're gonna have to kind of position towards the enemy threat. Start to probe forward with our cavalry. Probably send a grenadier unit that way as well. Grenadier guard unit, it's not just any grenadier unit. My skirmish cavalry, let's go for Hungarian fusiliers. General has collapsed. Let's just see if we can get there, General. Don't know if he's there. He is. Okay, no, he's probably going to escape. In which case, deal with the garrison guards because they are. weakest unit. The rest of my line just march forward. Kill the garrison guards because they're definitely going to die. Chase down the Hungarian fusiliers. Get rid of 
damage on the force and attack. And skirmishers advance. Sharpshooters advance. Okay, now it looks like they are routing towards the enemy. How it says cease fire, switch to round sharp. No bueno. If I give you an attack round order, can you do it? One gun can. No, they have no visibility. But while this is going on, let's kill the fusiliers. Two good units killed, that's pretty good. infantry run because we've got enemy militia that have recovered they've come back temporarily they fired their volley and then they've run they've done everything that honor demands of them the unit at the back has also run um let's continue Imagine the end. Of, yeah, the back of the map is really close. The edge of the map is really close, not the back of the map. Worth a shot. Pathfinding is funky, but still, that was the one shot they had to try and go for Paris, and they blew it. Eight hundred men remaining. Ready and awaiting orders. Hit them. Auto. Triumphant. Forward. God, they're still For not dead. It's not dead. No. Go on, native troops. See them off. Go on, Elroy Mallory. You've done great. William Charlton, you're recruiting reinforcements. You are, but you're going to push up and deal with this Austrian dog. We are triumphant. Forward, march. So you have you need two cav two skirmish units, four infantry units. So let's get. Oh no, not, not a minimum. No, 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 no. Something like that. I'll do for you. Elroy Mallory, push up, ready for the fight. Everybody else is advancing. Your crew recruits. Okay, right. Let's get these guys on their way. You were going to Mr. Brent. You are going through to Mr. Clapton. Sylvester Green is going to go through to Godwin Gates. Although you're short one unit. I'll try to recruit a howitzer. That'll do. Gerard Arger. You're going to actually reinforce attack Coburg. You're going to push north against the enemy here. They've very nicely elected to retreat into the city, so you're going to lay siege to them. Riley Grimes. Okay, if you take Stuttgart under siege, Mr. Rafty can advance up to Bavaria to help that attack. Right, let's do this. Stuttgart, you're going down. And then after this, we'll take Munich. 
And then that's it. The Austrians that we've been fighting against for so many episodes are finally going to be... You know, the, the, the spine of their power is going to be gone. They are going to just... Their empire's cracked. We're storming through. We need to be ready to attack Prussia. Because they will be our next enemy. Well, one of our one of our next major enemies. Battery reporting. Okay. Position again. Actually, I suppose that breach is technically the better one. If we want to use shrapnel shot, we can against that breach. Whereas in this one, they'll detonate in the trees too early. I love rockets. Infantry line position ready for the attack. Um, don't go for the. Actually, maybe you want to go for the heavy horse howitzers in the centre. Go on rockets. Rockets are. Very good fun. Missile away! Who are you aiming at? Oh, just a nondescript unit on the wall? Are you going for the. Oh, you're going for the centre! Killing some of the cavalrymen. We were probably aiming at the artillery, I suppose. Aim for the heavy horse howitzer. Because that, that can fire some meaty quickline shots against us. Hello. shots away do we take out any more guns although are they actually aiming at the artillery explicitly or are they aiming at something else kill a few of the cavalry we're not necessarily killing any of the gunners exactly 51% there you go, one more volley and the breach will be done. We've destroyed one more howitzer. More rocket fire in. I do love the rockets. I love them so much. There you go, rockets. Well, potential rocket strike. Kill the general. Boom. The breach is down. The breach is done, rather, I should say. Okay. Advance. We are going to try and scale the wall on the flank, scale like this section over here. So we want our cavalry over here to provide extra support. Same with our skirmishers, but no fire at will. So you guys are not, are not going to be fired, you're shot in the back from my foot artillery. Might get shot in the back by the howitzers. One unlucky marine. So this was what I was after. When they sit in the breach to protect it, we can just <laughs> suddenly. Wait a minute, that's a bad idea. It sure is, buddy. One out to left. How did that not kill that horse crew? Right, we're advancing in good order. Let's get one howitzer unit to go after some of these clumped up units.
to be honest, they can both do that. Garrison guards have been just obliterated. So some of our units are like marching up proudly. US Marines with a long rifle and go Nothing to see here. Tree to cover here. You to cover here. Sharpshooters can cover here. I'm able to fire at will. Legion. Long rifleman. Infantry. Scale. Let's get another unit of infantry on the walls. Provide them a bit of cover. Oh, those areas have been annihilated. Okay, right. Let's start to allocate some different targets. Artillery, engage. Just knock down that section of the wall. May as well. Recovery open fire, even though there's no one to shoot at. Don't like that, do you? Artillery. Trap and shot. <laughs> the head of the column of the 51st Regiment, they're just gone. A long row for men. Secure that gate. Be charged out one cavalryman against these marines. Shoot him. He's a brave fool. He's down. Gonna cease fire. Marines. Everybody else, form up behind the Marines. <laughs> Marines kill the militia. To be honest then, if that's the game you want to play, these guys can just run through. Three guys isn't enough to stop us. So once we capture the gatehouse... It's got to be ours. I was going to say. Run in. Rocket artillery sees fire. Some of these units position as a block of force. New men position to just engage. 
the enemy troops with musket fire. Oh, friendly fire. We were going after this unit. 80 second. 80 se understandable 80 second. Sarin Regiment Kaiser. The US Marines kill all of these men. I thought you'd do some shooting, but someone must be trapped or stuck somewhere. So you're reloading. Oh, Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Light troops. Caught in the open. Kill the last of that Sar regiment. Kill the the trumpeter. Got him. Take that one unit of garrison guards. A handful of Jaeger on the top of the walls are still engaging us, but we don't really care. Yeah, you men. Oh, they're gonna even kill. Just these garrison guards. Rocket artillery, you have a new target. Okay, fire at will. Who are you going to fire at? That's going to be the curious thing. Precision fire against those enemy on the wall. Let's just speed up time then, because right now nobody's really trying to stop us. If they want to wind, if these garrison guards want to call, cause us to wind down the clock, then that's what we're going to do. Victory! Victory! Okay, so that's Württemberg taken care of. Stuttgart. Okay, let's repair, let's replenish, let's get rid of the university. That should do most of the trick. It will, actually. Getting rid of the university will do all of it. Awesome. And then you... Maybe it might be you, actually. You may do may conduct the attack, and then we'll call in... Definitely this horse artillery is a reinforcement. And we'll call in these howitzers as reinforcements plus militia plus the, the, those guys that'll work let's take the city and that will be a yeah a huge huge loss for the <laughs> for the uh, Austrian Empire even though in the Balkans we might be in trouble um, all of those troops that were deployed to the Balkans to help try and prevent our our attack have allowed us to open up the front and storm in from the west. I mean, I want to be up here, don't I? That's where I want to be. Okay. Bunch on my troops. Oops, I left my general behind. And the reinforcements are coming in from exactly where I want them to be. It's 
So there is inherent risk in what I'm doing because it is like that. Those bouncing artillery shots can cause problems. If they knock out one of my gun teams, that's not a good place to be in, but this is why I don't know how none of those got any hits. Like that, that should have done a lot more than kill one gun crew, in my opinion. Ooh, are they actually in mortar range? They are actually. Quick line. That's not actually a good outcome. not going to focus on dealing with them yet. Use, rely on these howitzers. Plus these backup howitzers. Yeah, we need you to do some work against those mortar crews. Stuff the quick lamp shells back in. Eighteen crews. Down to nine, but that's still enough. Got plenty of crews crews, it's not that's not a problem. Actually, get you guys to work on that breach. So you lost one gun team. That's, that's, that's okay. We start off with six when we shouldn't have, so we've actually just gone down to the expected level. Okay, all of you guys work on that section there. what you're you're not shooting at what I want you to shoot at I don't know why so we get to 50% and they're all on there we'll kill them all but I don't think we're gonna get there just shooting at whatever targets you want okay well because this artillery elected to not play ball those troops escaped when they shouldn't have what a drill <laughs> That's, that is a that is an oppressive drill. <laughs> okay, these howitzers have I've just unlimited them to fire at will with quicklime because they'll probably aim at they will aim at the artillery anyway. And that's kind of right where all the enemy bad guys are anyway, so look at that. One mortar crewman is all that remains. We come marching down the hill towards them. Drums banging, pipes playing. <laughs> Try and aim for the, if you can, aim for the gate. Divvy up some of my how it's how it's fire a little bit more cleverly. Although I definitely want one just to hammer the centre, because look at all this beautiful cavalry. Okay, 
Okay, you might just aim at the sections on the corners. I'm happy to take some friendly fire from my own um, artillery, shooting my man in the back. Let's so make them run. Still reloading. There we go, just fine. Okay, let's get a unit of line to scale that wall. Start to bottle up this breach. It looks like they do fancy a bit of a scramble out, in which case, deploy my troops like so. Wick some fire into the into the uh, breach as they try to defend. Nope, they're livid. They're fuming. Right. Central Marines, Rangers, all of you men scale the walls. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> so predictable. Hammering the center with the howitzer fire. Actually, you even better. You guys try and capture that gatehouse. Oh, they're coming out. Lavan we'll militia, footline, engineers have come out. Okay, Rangers. Getting slaughtered. Good, this gate's ours. Try to get them in. Oh, the Curacier taking a volley from the enemy light dragoons. Doesn't they want to try and engage my men trying to scale the walls, but we're going to be far too fast for them. down here to try and get across. Very well. Back up the incursion. US Marines, storm in. New men back them up. Now it's fire. Switch to round shots. I 
like, yeah, if anyone's going to fight, yeah, I gave you orders to run over here. And you were climbing the wall, so I'm not quite sure why you elected to do that. Okay, commit my other units into the action. Gracier are hacking their way through the Dragoons defending the breach. My Rangers seem to be in a position to open fire. The fourth Continental Light Dragoons. We'll execute that General's bodyguard. Push in. Power it says ceasefire. Okay, just run in. They can't. They haven't got the mass to stop us from doing what we want to do. The Rangers are opening fire. Two light dragoons. Six light dragoons. Kill the enemy general. You men cover the center. Cease fire. Kill the enemy infantry. On center marines attack the fuse there. So we've got them pinned against the back of the back of the ramp. Is that it? No, there's, there's a unit of line infantry guards. Oh no, there we go. Excellent. Munich has been captured for the good of the American Empire. And that's going to be a big, big hole in the enemy uh, economy and in the unit production. Come on, hand it over. Okay, so Stuttgart, one thing we need to make sure we upgrade is the infrastructure. Okay, repair this, repair the government buildings. Mr. Rafti, I mean, you were, you were recruiting reinforcements, but I don't know whether they'll snap to you now. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Okay, you go into here. So you I'm not quite sure where you were going. Make ready. Oh, these two guns are going up to here. Okay, let's push this infantry unit to them as well. Yeah, one infantry unit, two guns, two more guns. That'll be okay. A couple of depleted Austrian armies are on their way. Ultimately, just bring you guys. Oh, no, fairly sure we're going to lose Zagreb. That army is even kind of, yeah, that's a, that army is going to take Zagreb. Let's try pull the troops out of Zagreb. Okay, let's try and see if we can create one. I think I just created combined two. Bug Towers units into one one weaker Hello. army. Okay, skirmishers, dragoons, combine infantry. None of the infantry units here can combine. Let's combine. Oh, well, these are. Combine the 24 pounders. Ooh, they killed my general, but I've still got the general's bodyguard unit. That's pretty tasty. Okay, let's take these sharpshooters out of Cameron's army. Put the line infantry in, because we can probably try and consume them amongst our other infantry units. Interesting. They're both line infantry units, but... Ready. March. Okay, you guys. Uh, 
Something like this. I don't mind losing that territory. Yes. It's more about providing extra mass where it's a bit more useful. Yeah, don't mind losing Zagreb. Because we've got some good movement here in the east. But for the most part... Oh, Hanover. Who are you? Are you allies with... Yeah, you're allies with Prussia and the Marathas, so I can't necessarily move in now. Well, I mean, I could, but I'll just kick off war with Prussia. I want... need I need to take out Austria first. Okay, so Roger Leverett is going to attack Mar. Well, first we're going to go here, then attack Marseille to force them east. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing expansion of the American Empire. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>